So this is the big 1.09 update, huh? Not one thing the community asked for was addressed. <laughs> you serious? What the hell is wrong with you people? What is going on everyone? It is your boy S'mores. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Today's video, we have a lot to discuss. The internet is on fire and heated over the skilled base matchmaking topic. I will also be covering the PP19 Bison class setup that you guys are watching in this gameplay as well as the 1.09 update that we received on Friday. And well, who called it last video guys? I am the one, the way you're Another letdown from Infinity Ward. Another one. But before we do get into all of that. If you guys can do me a favor and drop a like on today's video as it would be greatly appreciated, hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new. I will be covering Call of Duty Modern Warfare content throughout the entire year. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into today's video topic. Reverse boosting and skilled base matchmaking, one of the most popular topics that I have seen discussed over the weekend. And well, when it comes to reverse boosting and skilled base matchmaking, it really looks like the community is divided on this topic. And this is something that is not new to the community, you guys. This has been going on as far as I can remember since Advanced Warfare. Big name YouTubers, which I won't put out names, have even come out to say that yes, they would get on reverse boosted accounts to get gameplays. Now that the topic is once again popular, people have come out and showed their very strong opinions towards it. Some are very understanding and some are very frustrated and mad about this going on. And well, as I said before, this is nothing new. This has been going on since Advanced Warfare. And the people that are angry are going as far as saying that they're going to expose all the big name YouTubers and that if you reverse boost, you're the worst person in the world. I would have to cut those people off and tell them, hey, look, I exposed myself in an entire video dedicated to reverse boosting. There's nothing to expose, okay? <laughs> I'm one of the few YouTubers that will come out and blatantly tell you that yes, I do play on a reverse boosted account. And I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. Because I'm going to keep you G real. But I'm sure most of you already knew this, hence is why you came to my channel from the skilled based matchmaking video because you supported what I was doing and the message behind the video and that's that skilled based matchmaking needs to be removed. And I'm going to continue to play on this reverse boosted account until it's removed from the game. Most of you have even said it yourself how bad the multiplayer lobbies are currently in the game. They're almost unplayable and nobody wants to play every game like it's an MLG tournament. Now, it would be a completely different story if we were all getting paid to play like the pros do, right? I mean, we will all gladly put on headbands and sweat every game like it's our final match in the MLG tournament, but we're not getting paid to play like that, so why is there a need to do so? There's not. That's why skilled-based matchmaking needs to be removed and they need to put in a ranked playlist plain and simple let me know down in the comment section what is your guys' stance on the topic i'm very curious although i'm sure most of you feel the same way as i do what really cracks me up is that some of these content creators hating on people for getting on these accounts are the same ones who lobby surfed for hours in black ops 4 to find noobs there's no difference dude how long have we all been watching our favorite content creators on youtube get gameplays 90 percent of those gameplays have been against noobs some people are so quick to hate on a channel like mine because it's small but then you have big name youtubers who are doing the exact same thing and those same people are on their channel saying how much they love their videos etc all of the people who are pointing fingers and hating on this subject need to take all of that anger and point your fingers at the infinity ward developers these are the guys who need to be held responsible and accountable for making the game such a bad experience for everybody these are the only people in the world who can make a difference and remove it from the game by removing skilled based matchmaking you also get rid of the need for people to play on accounts like this and you would also be leveling out the playing field. At the end of the day, I am a content creator and my main priority and goal is trying to become the best content creator I can be and provide entertaining content for my viewers. Trying to prove who the best Call of Duty player is in the community is completely irrelevant to me and I could care less about that. 
This will probably be the last time I address the topic unless otherwise I make a video on it because ultimately it's like beating a dead horse and at least I can say I was one of the very few within the COD community who kept it real from day one and I have you guys to back me on that so thank you very much and thank you for all of the support you guys have been showing me. It's been amazing and I just can't wait to see where the channel goes this year. Alright so now that we got that out of the way you guys let's go ahead and jump right into the class setup for for my muzzle attachment, I was using the muzzle brake. For my barrel attachment, I had the 8.7 steel barrel. And for my rear grip, I had the stippled grip tape. And for my stock, I had the factory aluminum stock. For my secondary, I was using the 680 model Hush. And for my perks, I went with overkill, restock, and shrapnel. For my additional perks, I went with EOD, hardline, and tune-up. For my lethal, I had a proximity mine and for my tactical I had a flash grenade. This gun is very underrated when matched up with other SMGs within its class. You normally see a lot of people using the MP5, the MP7, or the AUG, but this gun, believe it or not, is very good and underrated. I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. One of the guys over at Doom Clan actually set a world record with this SMG. It's the world's fastest tactical nuke to date. I definitely recommend you guys going and watching that. It's pretty impressive. The exact class setup he was using for this gun, I do not know, so you guys will go have to check that out. Test it out. Let me know what you guys think. That is going to bring us to the 1.09 update that we got on Friday, and man, was it a let down I told you guys in my last video do not expect big things because these guys are notorious for disappointing the community the 1.09 update pretty much consisted of two pages worth of bug and fixes nothing serious nothing that would dramatically change the game overnight this is very disappointing you guys and it's not what we expected Although the update did progress the game a little bit, I feel like these minor bug and fixes are something they should have had ironed out from the beginning. Now they have bigger issues at hand that need to be addressed and they're not getting addressed. People are slowly starting to lose interest. You've even seen big COD YouTubers revert back to games like Black Ops 4 and World War 2 because the game is not going anywhere, not improving in the manner that it should be. It's almost like Infinity Ward wants this game to fail. They're sitting by and doing completely nothing as the community continues to dwindle away. Infinity Ward has openly acknowledged the fact that they are aware of some of the changes that the community would like to see within the game and have still not done anything about it. So it is going to be very interesting to see how these next few months play out within the game. I will leave the patch notes in the description if you guys would like to go read two pages worth long of nonsense. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like for me as it always helps out the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new. I will be covering Call of Duty Modern Warfare throughout the entire year. And as always, I hope you guys all have a great day and I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Bravo. Teammate just got my kill. Watch that one. I'm almost out. Enemy at the scaffold. You're needed at sea. Enemy in the bus. Objectives, take them back.